Hi, uh, this is uh, Khalid uh, Shibani. I'm a board certified uh, surgeon and this is volume one of my uh, public medical education series. We will uh, talk about the gallbladder uh, disease. Uh, my intention is to educate the uh, public and also help the healthcare providers to understand the surgical aspects of diagnosing and uh, treating uh, gallbladder disease. The uh, gallbladder is a pear-shaped hollow organ located in the undersurface of the right lobe of the liver. The uh, bile produced by the liver is uh, collected and conveyed by the common hepatic duct, uh, which is connected to the gallbladder via a small duct called the cystic duct. And the hepatic duct becomes the common bile duct, and along with the pancreatic duct, it empties into the small intestine and the duodenum and within the wall of the duodenum it's surrounded by a circular muscular band named the sphincter of Audi. Uh, gallbladder stones or cholelithiasis is uh, asymptomatic in 30 percent of the patients. The tendency for an individual to form uh, stones uh, depends on the chemical composition of the bile. Risk factors include ethnicity, uh, obesity, female gender, age more than 40, multiple pregnancies, geographic location and diet, uh, some uh, disease conditions such as Crohn's disease, liver cirrhosis, hemolytic anemias, uh, some medications such as proton pump inhibitors, acteriotides, uh, rapid weight loss as we see in bariatric uh, surgery. Uh, acute cholecystitis refers to the inflammation of the gallbladder which is basically due to the uh, bile flow uh, obstruction uh, biliary colic is an intermittent spasmodic pain in the right upper quadrant just below the uh, costal margin or the rib cage associated often with tenderness, uh, nausea, uh, vomiting, uh, fever, chills, and night sweats are the, um, characteristic also now as of uh, acute cholecystitis attack. Uh, it's worth noting that diabetics Elderly and frail patients might have vague and atypical uh, symptoms, and in this patient population, even blood tests can be deceivingly normal. Uh, common bile duct uh, stones, or cholecystitis, uh, it can be divided into two types, primary and secondary. It's characterized by uh, jaundice, or yellowish discoloration of the skin, and the white of the eye, or the sclera, uh, clay-colored stools, and dark uh, urine. Uh, Cholidocolithiasis can potentially lead to two serious conditions, uh, acute cholangitis or infectious inflammation of the bile ducts within the liver, characterized by fever, pain, jaundice, altered mental status that can progress into septic shock, uh, acute pancreatitis, which can range from mild or chemical pancreatitis, where the patient only has elevated amylase lipase enzymes, to a severe uh, hemorrhagic or necrotic pancreatitis that can be life-threatening condition. Uh, another uh, rather um, common and underdiagnosed condition that's called bariodiskinesia, also known as acalculus uh, cholecystitis. The patient does not have uh, gallbladder stones. It's uh, thought to be caused by incoordinated or improper contraction of the gallbladder. Uh, uh, and or numbness motor dysfunction of the sphincter of Audi. Uh, normally, now the uh, gallbladder uh, function is uh, regulated by a hormone called cholecystokinin. It's produced by the duodenum mucosa when the food arrives into the uh, duodenum. Uh, hence, now we see it in patients with uh, prolonged periods of nothing by mouth or MPO and IV nutrition or TPN. We also uh, see it in uh, rapid uh, weight loss such as in uh, bariatric uh, surgery. Uh, ultrasonography now is the uh, gold standard for uh, imaging the gallbladder. It's ideal for uh, stone detection. It can assess the common bile duct and inflammation around the gallbladder. It's uh, non-invasive and does not uh, involve uh, radiation. Uh, this is an ultrasonographic uh, image uh, showing gallstone inside the gallbladder. And uh, this is uh, another image now showing the uh, inflammation around the uh, gallbladder and the thickening of the gallbladder wall. 
nuclear medicine or scintigraphy is very important uh, tool. Now the patient is given a radioactive tracer and placed under a gamma camera for an hour. Uh, the gallbladder should be visualized within one hour of injection of the isotope or the tracer and the ejection fraction should be 35% uh, or more. Non-visualization of the gallbladder now this means acute cholecystitis and ejection fraction less than 35% means the patient has uh, biliary dyskinesia. Uh, radiography has a uh, limited value in assessing and evaluating uh, gallbladder disease. Uh, however, now that the patient is uh, uh, suspected to have uh, acute pancreatitis, then um, CAT scan of the abdomen is a very uh, useful uh, tool. Uh, blood testing is uh, very important, uh, including the wide blood cell count the liver function tests, including the serum bilirubin, the alanine aminotransferase, the aspartate aminotransferase, alkaline phosphatase, and to assess the function of the pancreas, uh, serum amylase, and lipase. In order to understand the uh, management uh, protocol, we will uh, present uh, uh, three scenarios. Uh, if the patient has uh, signs and symptoms and the ultrasound showed uh, gallbladder stones, uh, however there is no evidence of uh, common bile duct stones, then the treatment is simple cholecystectomy. If the patient has symptoms, the ultrasound does not show stones and the blood test now suggests there is uh, acute inflammation of the gallbladder, uh, uh, then the next step is to do a pipida scan. If ejection fraction is less than 35%, uh, there is non-visualization of the gallbladder, then again, the treatment is simple cholecystectomy. If the patient has symptoms and both blood testing and the ultrasound suggest the presence of common bile duct stones, then the treatment is cholecystectomy uh, plus intraoperative cholangiogram and uh, attempt to uh, clear the common bile duct stones if unsuccessful an ERCP should be performed or an ERCP should be performed first followed by uh, cholecystectomy and intraoperative cholangiogram. Uh, this uh, decision should be coordinated between the uh, surgeon and the gastroenterologist who will uh, perform the ERCP. Uh, to help prevent uh, gallbladder uh, stone formation uh, a uh, healthy diet uh, should be uh, followed. A, a medication uh, called orthodeoxycholic acid or actigal can help uh, prevent gallstone formation, especially after uh, weight loss surgery. However, it's expensive and it has side effects. Uh, cholecystectomy uh, is the gold standard treatment for gallbladder stones. Uh, cholecystectomy can be performed uh, through uh, uh, various uh, techniques. The uh, uh, most common is the laparoscopic fourth port uh, technique. It can be done uh, robotic assisted. It can be done through uh, single incision laparoscopic surgery via a single port. Uh, open uh, cholecystectomy is indicated uh, if uh, laparoscopy is not uh, feasible or excessive bleeding is encountered. Uh, unfavorable uh, anatomy or uh, gangrenous gallbladder. Uh, cholecystostomy or uh, uh, percutaneous transhepatic uh, uh, drainage of the gallbladder is indicated if the patient is not a surgical candidate and it's uh, done by interventional uh, radiology as a temporary uh, measure until the patient uh, gets uh, better and can uh, withstand uh, uh, surgery. Uh, if we uh, suspect the presence of uh, common bile duct stones we uh, perform uh, intraoperative cholangiography uh, routinely. It is our uh, uh, routine practice to give uh, glucagon and irrigate the uh, duct with local anesthetic lidocaine that will help relax the sphincter of Audi in order to uh, flush the stones out. If that's not successful, uh, we can proceed with the common bile duct exploration with a balloon or performing a cut in the common bile ducts, ductotomy. We also can pass a, a basket uh, uh, to extract the stone. However, it's our preference to uh, perform an ERCP after the completion of the uh, cholecystectomy.
Uh, another approach to uh, common bile duct stones is uh, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography or ERCP. It's performed by the gastroenterologist. Uh, it can be performed before or after uh, cholecystectomy. It uh, obviates the need for surgical exploration of the common bile duct, which can be uh, difficult and associated with uh, many complications. The uh, stones can be extracted. Uh, the sphincter can be divided to facilitate the passage of the stones. A uh, stent can be placed if the stones are anticipated or suspected to persist. And the stent can be removed uh, usually four to six weeks after its placement. Uh, cholecystectomy complications. Um, uh, injury to the common bile duct or the common hepatic uh, duct, the incidence uh, should be um, less than 0.1%. Uh, this is very serious and can uh, need uh, another um, uh, operation. Uh, bile leaks comes from uh, slept uh, clips or accessory uh, bile duct, it's called the duct of Lushka, uh, can be easily treated with uh, stent uh, placement uh, using the ERCP. Uh, goldstone spillage with uh, abscess formation inside the abdomen. Uh, infection, whether it's a wound infection or intra-abdominal infection. Uh, injury to the surrounding uh, structures. Uh, excessive bleeding, especially patient on blood thinners or antiplatelet. Uh, medications such as Plavix, uh, general anesthetic complications including allergic reactions or a rare condition called malignant hypothermia, uh, myocardial infarction or heart attack, uh, blood clots or clots on the deep veins, uh, deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. That's uh, again very uh, uh, life-threatening uh, complication. Uh, a uh, poorly defined uh, condition called post cholecystectomy syndrome or the PCS, which uh, basically uh, uh, means the persistence of the uh, uh, symptoms after the uh, cholecystectomy. And uh, oftentimes this uh, will need an extensive uh, work up. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was an informative uh, presentation. Please don't forget to check our live videos on YouTube and Facebook.